Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around, or maybe not so quick, but I am going to give you a video walk around of this 2021. It is the legend that is the Volkswagen Crafter. It is the 2 litre TDI 4 Motion DSG. Uh, so the eight speed auto gearbox, the one that everybody wants. Um, in Indium Grey Metallic, probably the most desirable color, isn't it, in these things? Um, and obviously it is camper converted. Uh, so we're looking at the base vehicle. It's a medium wheelbase high roof vehicle. It's had a full conversion done on it through Celtic campers. Um, it uh, means that you have a capability of um, carrying four people, sleeping three people. Could probably increase that if you put a roof tent on the roof as well if you wanted to. Um, but you've got a full width um, double uh, bed in the back. Uh, obviously, you've got your additional side flares fitted to it. Uh, and then you can convert your front seats uh, into uh, a position to, um, to sleep another one as well. Um, so 2021 vehicle. It has only covered 9,000 miles. It is currently in daily use, so it may well go up from there, okay? Uh, but uh, at the moment, um, 9,000 miles. I think we're going to advertise it with 10 on it. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that should about uh, tally up, really. Um, quite a substantial specification with it. Am I probably going to forget things on the video? Yes. So um, just cross-reference to the advert. And worst case scenario, give us a shout. And we should hopefully have compiled a full spec sheet for it um, prior to that. Condition-wise, obviously, it's done no work at all. It's in exceptionally clean condition. A couple of minor stone chips on the bonnet. Let's just show you that so you get an idea. Um, but apart from that, that's the only marks I've found on it so far. So there's your bonnet. Nice gleam to it. Nice reflection of the clouds above us. And when I'm talking about a couple of stone chips, I'm talking about one there. I'm sure there was another one. Well, it may well have washed off earlier on when we just washed it. So that's all looking good. Uh, front windscreen's all good, no chip, chips, nothing like that. It does have an additional um, sun shield on it there at the moment. Uh, and then you have your big LED light bar up there on the front and you've got a lovely custom rack up there, uh, which gives you your solar. It has got solar up there. You've got a maxi fan on the rear. You've got another um, uh, pop open window thingy midi ceiling light. Uh, name's gone out of my... Uh, out of my head at this specific point in time and you've got a bit of a sun deck up there so it's quite a useful bit of kit and obviously the rear ladder to access it on the front you've got the led zen on the headlamps we have obviously full motion the uh, laser lamps fitted to it as well we all know how expensive those are and they make a massive massive difference to the vehicle at night uh, the rest of the front end of the vehicle is as you would expect. So you do have front and rear parking centers as well as a rear camera as well. Um, no bumper scuffs on the front end. Looking down the side profile of the van from this angle, very, very straight and tidy. As I say, nothing really much to point out to you. You may well, I've got the interior lights on and stuff at the moment, but obviously you've got an LED light on your um, two-lay Omnistore side um, awning. And then driver side headlamp unit, driver side front bumper, all looking good. You've got front fog lights on them as well. And again, just looking down the side profile of the van from this angle, really straight and tidy, as you'd expect it to be, obviously for a van of this age, miles and value. Uh, you've got BF Goodridge all-terrain tires on some black Rhino alloy wheels. Um, nice little combination actually, so you've got a bit of black and grey that matches the bodywork. You do also have the, um, the all these little things that you may or may not notice. So you've got your Volkswagen arches, um, they've got the additional um, plastic arch, uh, I've just had them fitted to mine. Um, so um, arch thingy-majigs, god, I don't know what's going on in my head today. Um, anyway, all those fitted to it, just a nice little addition. Driver's side front wings all looking good. Your mirror unit with integrated indicators all good. They are an electric heated mirror unit. We have front door, front nose cone, the door itself. Look at your alignment of your panels. Everything is as it should be. It was a main dealer supplied vehicle, this one. Um, your 
door lock and handles all good. Looking at your door edges, those are all looking good as well. Getting down low, looking at your sills. The sills are in good condition as you would expect. Mid panel, all looking good. You got the big factory glazed window in the middle there as well. And then obviously on the rear end, you've got your rear flares, which give you the ability to sleep sideways in the bed. Uh, and then you've got your opening side windows there as well. Coming down to your rear quarter, there's your Truma vent there as well. Again, tires and alloys, they're like new, aren't they? Just looking down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle, just so you get an idea. Condition-wise, it is exceptionally tidy. Dare I even use the word mint? Um, no, I won't. Um, roof rack, obviously your access ladder. Spare wheel is on a separate holder on the rear doors there. I'm just gonna cover the, rear, uh, the outside of the vehicle first of all, before I show you inside. Factory parking sensors, as I've already mentioned. And then looking down the passenger side of the vehicle. Again, rear flares on this side. Again, your Thule on the store awning with the LED lighting. We have external power point there, obviously for your hookup. We have Goodridge All Terrain. Sliding door, etc. We have your um, water points there for your um, and gas points for your uh, to fill up your gas tanks and to drain your water down. And then passenger front door, mirror units, handles, all of your door edges, just look at those, everything lines up as it should, they're not chipped or damaged. And then passenger side front other wheel, everything's all looking good. Right, I'm going to start with the back end of the vehicle. So it's really well appointed, I have to say, I think, personally. Obviously, everybody has their own, but I think it's a lovely appointed conversion. Right, if any of the lights are flashing on the video, it's showing as I'm videoing it on the iPhone that the lights are flashing inside. They're not. It's something to do with the frames per second on the iPhone camera. So it's quite nice. You've got little bits of storage in here. Same on this side, quite handy when you're in bed at night. Uh, we have an external shower point there. Load your water up there. Ah, uh, yeah, that's for you, for your bed. We'll not worry about that bit at the moment. Um, so, Roof lining, as you can see, is really nice. This is a Max Air fan on there. I have been up and taken a photo of the roof, so please check that out on the website. We have map reading lights um, here. Um, obviously, it's currently got the covers on the rear windows, but those obviously do open up, slide open. We have loads of upper storage. Nice bed. Flooring, as you can see, looks like it's got Cardine flooring fitted to it. So, obviously, you can tie stuff down here. In here, we have all of your electrics for the van. Oh, bear with me a second. Just use those. So, leisure batteries. Nice Victron set up there. So all of your utilities are nicely tucked away there. There is your toilet. Empty bit. 
empty bit. I'm sounding proper professional today, aren't I? Right, so. I'll be honest with you, I haven't played with this bit yet. So there's obviously some kind of height adjustment on the bed, I think. I'm going to put that back down for now. I'm not convinced it goes all the way to the ceiling or anything, but obviously there's some substantial electronic bit there. I'll get all that sorted out, um, the details on it all sorted out, hopefully, for the advert. So, opening up your side loading door. Apologies about that, the phone keeps going and cutting the video off. But as you can see, we have a bit of additional storage into your step there, which is quite a nice little option. Entering onto here, we've got a bit of carpet uh, that's been cut to fit this bit, which is quite nice, protects everything, doesn't it? Um, and then you've got a really, it's a really nice environment to be in in here, I have to say. So bed, as you can see, just another viewpoint of what you've already just seen in the back there. There's your storage above with LED lights, etc. Max air fan remote control, you've got a Truma diesel heater, Victron Energy is all on here, so all of your details for everything are there as well. Uh, all of your power points, these obviously just turn lights on and off. Ah, that one's for you outside. Um, nice Thetford hob. You've got a nice surface. I'll find out what it's made out of, just so that you know. Proper tap. Look stuck down how cool is that and that uh, and then obviously your sink power etc here we have a little storage drawer here as well we have a Thetford duplex oven We'll get it all valeted for you obviously it's literally just coming in so but you get an idea storage drawers all of these you've got a little cutlery drawer there and then we have various drawers of which you've got four in depth there really nice flooring handle for here and then here is your bathroom let me just turn the lights on using this switch here that turns your little LED lights on in the bathroom. We have an internal shower. We have storage here. Your little fold down sink with tap. Um, shower, nicely wrapped, isn't it? Nice atmospheric part there, toilet. Thetford toilet, little mirror on the back of the door there. Coming through to the front, so you've got two nice seats here. Lovely seat trim, so you've got leather and suede seat trim. We have more additional storage in these as well. Uh, Built-in Wi-Fi, obviously LED lighting throughout the whole van, which is all very nice. Storage above your head, back of your seats. So obviously single driver and passenger seats. I'd like to just excuse some stuff on the seat at the moment. It is still in use as we speak, but dashboard, all very nice. Now it's obviously had like a Golf R uh, multifunction steering wheel fitted to it. Um, so what I have found out, I think, on the way down, but I will clarify all of this, is, there's your mileage, 9,057 miles, just coming up for its first oil change, so that will be completed on it before it goes out the door, but you've got your fancy steering wheel here, the paddle shift doesn't work on it from what I can work, find out at the moment, I think it's been there for show, electric windows and mirrors, auto lights, it is the four-wheel drive model, so you do have diff lock as well we have heated steering wheel we have heated seats we have air conditioning uh, USB-C points here obviously the auto it has uh, DAB FM AM and app connect 
so giving you Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and all of that malarkey. Oh, as I say, it's still in use. So glove box full of stuff that won't be there should you buy it. Uh, hmm. I may or I may not have covered everything, but I'm hoping it's given you an idea of what the van is like. So essentially condition wise, very, very nice condition. It's a 2021 van, it's covered 9,000 miles. It's had a lovely conversion done on it through Celtic Motorhomes. Um, really not an awful lot more that you would want to opt that with that van. Uh, your LED lights, uh, laser lamps, the full conversion. Yeah, read the advert, we'll spec it all on the advert for you. Uh, but condition wise, obviously the only thing I found the stone chip on the bonnet isn't it the rest of it is exceptionally clean and tidy very nice specification van well there we go um 60 to 70 photos of this van are on our website our website is vanstoday.com we are vans today worcester based in the center of the country offering you nationwide delivery part exchange and finance Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. Um, if I can be of any more help, uh, please get in touch. If you're worried about who you're buying off, please check out our reputation online. We have reviews on uh, obviously our website, but also Google, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, we're on all of those. So um, do your due diligence as well. And uh, thanks for watching the video. It's about 15 minutes of your life. You're never going to get back, but hopefully it's giving you a good indication of exactly what it is you're buying. Cheers.